the evil of yesterday. Okay. Today's update has four topics. The Marble Machine X Progress, the Music Machine Monday's Finale Week, Utrecht Biking, and a new format for Wintergatan Wednesdays. So let's start at the top with the Marble Machine X Progress. So this is the marble divider that I'm working on. It has bent polyacrylic plastics on the front and on the back. And it was a little bit challenging because I had to bend the plastic before making these CNC operations. So the marbles will run on top here and will fall down. It has a five degree slope. This will be on the top of the machine. So the symbol place one, then a marble will be missing here and the marbles that come flowing here will find that channel. So this is like a distributor that evenly distributes one single row of marbles onto 38 channels. Okay, I've been making some design changes. I've changed the material of the side frame from wood to metal, which made it possible to get the sides much more sleeker and better looking. I'm inspired by the looks of skeleton clocks and I want you to be able to see every part of the Marble Machine X. So that's why frames and stuff can't be too bulky. I've also been working on the top of the machine, which is an area that I've been procrastinating for a long time because it's kind of complicated. So what you see here is a concept design sketch of the mechanics. And I've been working very hard to make a system with big lifting fingers that will make a big movement so you can see the machine playing also when you're in a crowd of 10,000 people in an arena. If we're playing on a big stage, I want everyone in the audience to be able to see some movement. So I built in these big Tim Burton-ish kind of fingers that will show very clearly when an instrument is muted or when it's played. So if I'm the vibraphone here. Get it? It's gonna be cool. Music Machine Monday's finale week. First of all, thank you so much for your response on this series. It was amazing to read all your comments and one comment that we saw a lot was that you wanted the theme song. So I have been digging in my hard drive archive and I found it was an old demo for something. I don't even remember when I did it. But I dug up the files and I've been remixing the song into a full length version that I could stand to let out. So tomorrow, Tuesday, we're gonna put up a video with only the Music Machine Mondays theme song. For Wednesday, I made a top 10 compilation video. So it's a kind of crunched down version of the whole series where I choose my favorite top 10 instruments from the Spielberg Museum. Place 10. On Thursday, we have the meet and greet video. So one of the technicians at the Spielberg Museum just grabbed my camera and filmed one of the tours. So I think it's gonna be a long video, like 45, 50 minute video. And we just put it out there for you who couldn't come to Utrecht. So you also can see what we were talking about on the meet and greet tour. On Friday, we are putting up 21 videos with all the mechanical instruments only playing the music. No talking, nothing, only the songs. So some videos are 45 seconds long. We're making a playlist with all 21 instruments. That concludes the Music Machine Mondays series. I'm very happy actually that we're done with the Music Machine Mondays because then me and Hannes can focus on making the Wednesdays awesome. The third of four subjects is Utrecht. I had an amazing time in Utrecht and I noticed something that I just want to share with you. The biking culture is awesome. So this is how it looks in every train and metro station in Holland. Bikes, bikes, bikes and bikes. Look at this. And I'm gonna show you the coolest thing. Here all the bikes stand in one line. Look at this. Double rows of bikes. They push this down and then they put the bike on top of the other bike. That's how much people are biking in Holland. It's quite amazing. 
and I'm going to show you what's happening when the light turns from red to green on the bike lane. they actually have digital signs to show where there is bike parking spots available. The city of Utrecht in the Netherlands has partly opened what will become the largest bicycle parking facility in the world. There's room to park 6,000 bicycles at this moment which will increase to 7,500 this year and 12,500 by the end of 2018. The new building draws a lot of people who want to come and have a look around, on foot or even on their bicycles. The Netherlands generally provides a great infrastructure for biking and I think it's cool they're so progressive with that because I see biking as a big solution for our well-being on so many levels. In Utrecht I also met Jelle Bakker from the Jelle Marbles Runs YouTube channel. He has an amazing channel and he has built this marble run with 10,000 marbles that we went to see. Today you saw my marble machine and you know I have a lot of problems with it. Yes. But what kind of problems do you have with your marble runs? Yeah, sometimes the problems with uh, lifting uh, systems or uh, conveyor belts. Uh, that sometimes not working properly, but uh, 
but uh, I also want to use uh, better parts and, uh, and also uh, ring gears to, uh, to, make, uh, to make a very reliable system to uh, take the marbles up. Yeah, you were one of the first when I uploaded the marble machine video. Yeah. I saw you comment very early and yeah. then I checked your channel and I loved it right away. So I just yeah. want to give a tips for my viewers to yeah. check out Jealous Marble yeah. Run channel. Uh, thank you for your collaboration. So uh, now we need to go, uh, go back home. Yes. And, so uh, and he's really tired from a, uh, <laughs> from a day hard working. Yes. And he uh, need to rest. <laughs> and I'm also somewhat hungry, so I need to get some pizza. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Thanks Jelle for inviting me yeah. to Kauda. Yes. Okay, let's go home. I also met Oscar Passel. You brought your own marble machine to show me. Yes, it's called Pachinko. And let me demonstrate. I insert one piece, it yeah. sticks. I insert the other one and there they fly. Another one sticks, next one flies. And it sticks out and they get sorted. And actually the circle got to the X, so it was an error. But uh, okay, I'm not going to solve it as a puzzle now. What is the goal of the puzzle? The goal of the puzzle is to have all the X pieces end with X and all the O pieces end with O. Oscar has the Guinness World Record for a 17 by 17 Rubik's Cube, so check him out as well. The new format of the Windgat on Wednesday is the fourth subject, maybe the most important one. Uh, I've been struggling a lot lately with my perfectionism. Perfectionism is a doubled-edged sword. I mean, it, it, it does make you build things like this, although this is far from perfect. <laughs> but it also makes you fret about every single stupid decision. Uh, this light here, I've been seriously spending one hour this day to decide if it should be like that or like that, you know? And we had videos prepared for uh, last week and I didn't like them, so we just didn't post them. And I think what I need to do is that I need to shift my perfectionism to how the light is standing and which focal length I'm using on the camera to the consistency that we really want to, I really want to try to be consistent to put out a video every Wednesday. So that's one of the big goals for the new format. And the channel has been growing and it's such a humbling fact that you are taking time out of your life to take a peek into my small little marble machine world. And I really want to live up to that. I really want to make a video every week that you want to watch twice, <laughs> you know? I can say that the new format will be a very steady update on the progress of the Marble Machine X. I have filmed constantly during the last month, so I have three terabytes of unedited footage that we're gonna turn into videos. So there's a lot of videos coming. Uh, we don't know really when we're gonna premiere this format, but now when the Music Machine Mondays is over, which we're so happy for, we are going to turn our focus completely to the Wednesdays and the Marble Machine X. So I hope it's going to be great. Uh, isn't this the best educational poster you've ever seen? Thanks so much for watching to the end of this video and uh, look forward to four more videos this week. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Wilson, do you have anything to add? <laughs>